Hi everyone, I just thought I'd stick on the video camera here. I've been assembling quite a number of circuit boards here, surface mount circuit boards, and you know, the parts on the board are ranging from 0805 resistors, capacitors, 1206, uh, a few SOIC packages, but the one I'm looking at in the middle here is a QFN package here. This is a DTA converter, and I don't know if you can see, uh, I'll try and zoom in a bit closer for you, that there is actually a, some short circuits between the pins there and just to show you what that package actually looks like before it goes on the circuit board I've actually got another one here which is brand new and as you look at the underside there you can see uh, there is no pins as such it's just a number of uh, individual pads with a large pad in the middle there which is sometimes connected to to ground um, but the pitch is sufficient that it's quite easy in the home uh, reflow environment to get short circuits between the various pins there so I'm just going to show you my technique for clearing those shorts now I know it's quite tempting to go in with the soldering iron and the solder and just get stuck in and try and uh, add some solder and some flux from the solder uh, onto the pins there, um, or the little blobs of solder is about all you can see to try and clear it, but there is actually an easier way um, which I'll show you now, and it involves using one of these flux pens here um, which I've got a, a Kester 951 here. Now what I usually do is, if you can see here, there's actually a double lot of shorts along there, if you can see there's some the pads at the left hand side are short together and I think there's either two or three pads, it's so small you can hardly see with your own eyes there's three pads at the right hand side there are short together so what I usually do is take my take my pen and just release some there it is, I've got a nice pool of flux there in and around the pads and then what I usually do is take your iron and just a little bit of solder to get it going and just drag the tip of the iron all the way along. You can see there it's cleared the shorts it would appear to but I'm not quite finished yet. What I usually like to do is add a little bit more and then run along again. You might add more shorts as you do it but uh, and that's it there cleared and I'm almost guaranteed that all of the pins now are actually um, bonding the uh, IC to the circuit board itself. The one at the right, far right hand side there, not 100% happy with that one yet, so I'm going to add a little bit more flux. There we go. Can't have enough of this stuff on the board. There we go. A little bit of solder to get it going. And that's it. And of course I'll repeat it round the other side as well. As you can see, the same again going here on probably all, all four sides. It's a bit hit or miss in the reflow oven that I've got here. Um, let's go again. That side done. What I will do is I'll put on the magnifying glasses uh, once I'm done and give it a really good inspection. This side doesn't look too bad. It looks a little bit untidy, the soldering, so I can't guarantee that it's properly bonded on every pin to the circuit board, so I'm just going to go over it again anyway. I've got plenty of liquid on there. You're kind of dissipating the heat off the iron across the whole chip, so you're not really localizing too much heat on the chip itself. So, you know, it's not really going to damage it unless you go overboard with it. So, keep plenty of uh, liquid flux in and around the IC. And brush off the, iron, the tip of the iron every now and then. It's not too bad. Yep, there's a short there. It's, that's it. Sometimes you have to pull it away a little bit. I'm getting a bit dry, so I'll put a bit more on. 
Mix it. And that's it, good enough. So that's all four sides done. Um, I've been pretty lucky and this technique works for me. Um, so the board's quite dirty now and in around the IC so it'll need to go in ultrasonic cleaner for a good brush off there and uh, then on to testing.